Today we're going to talk about taking children the cold water winter swimming. Hello, I'm the Dynamic Dipper from Morecambe Bay. We're not in Morecambe Bay today, we're at lovely Grasmere. I'll put a photo in that I took from the top of the path, which is absolutely breathtaking. Today we're going to talk about taking children the cold water winter swimming. So they may have enjoyed going out swimming with you throughout the summer and then they want to continue with you through the autumn and winter months. So just a quick few pointers on that, really quick video. If you like my videos, please click on the button below and subscribe. So this is a question that comes up quite a lot in the forums and the Facebook groups um, at this time of year about children wanting to continue swimming with their, with their parents. And um, some people say absolutely not. Some people say, yes, my children really enjoy it. I have taken my children throughout the autumn months I must admit that um, from the middle of December to the end of February, they may do a tiny dip with me. We're talking, you know, 30 seconds um, and, and then we do the dressing procedure. But on the whole, really, I would prefer them not to, to swim with me um, in those really colder winter months. My, my, mine are teenagers, um, but not much body fat. And so they um, take quite a long time to warm up and they um, the cold quite quickly. So what are the things that you need to consider when you want to take your children autumn winter swimming with you? Well, children ordinarily have um, a bigger surface area of skin compared to their weight. They haven't got much body fat. That means that they are colder quicker and uh, take longer to warm up. Um, the, be, uh, below the age of seven, um, their heads are quite large in uh, relation to their body. I'm making some sort of generalisation there. It's a little bit, um, you know, it's not totally detailed, but um, it's really important to keep the head warm. So two bobble hats um, when they come out of the water. If we think about points to consider when you're planning a swim, a, a swim that's nearer to the car, so that there's, there's not a lot of time after the swim spent traipsing back to the car, relatively close to the car, and, um, and then quicker to warm up. Also, um, where, where you're swimming, uh, a gradual slope into somewhere, so whether it be the sea or the lake, um, no steps, no harbour harbour steps or, or anything like that. It might be quite hard for the children to negotiate when they're quite cold. Also, uh, a, an adult's ratio um, of one to one, so one adult, one child, and, and not just an adult, you know, a strong swimmer, so a ratio of adult strong swimmer to child when you're winter swimming. Those are the things that need to be considered. Absolutely, I would say that children need to wear a wetsuit, a thermal cap, thermal socks and gloves. They would also maybe need to have a pair of silk socks underneath their thermal socks, underneath the thermal neoprene socks, which will give them that extra little bit of warmth. And you really need to think about how you're going to warm up afterwards. So hot hand sachets, that have already been activated, put into the socks or into the gloves if they're going to put gloves on. You can stick a couple under the armpits while they just sit and you dry them off. So warm, warm hot hand sachets under the armpits that will help to warm the children up. And you know, just, just try and enjoy it and just um, see how it goes. Like I say, some people say it's an absolute no-no and some people will say, I've done it with my children and it's been fine and great and, and no problem. So we'll just see how it goes. If they don't want to do it in the December months and it's too cold, I wouldn't push them because it'll put them off following summer. It was just some quick things to consider when you're thinking about taking your children swimming through the colder months. Anyway, we're at Grasmere and um, I'm going to get in and have a swim now. And um, it's over and out from the Dynamic Dipper. Bye.